you have to empower girls. But you have to give complementary education for boys that you, they have to be egalitarian. You, you have to nurture this. You have to talk to them all the time that of course girls can do this. You have to make movies that show that girls can do anything boys. They can drive trucks, they can be superheroes, including that of course you can marry Joe or Jack. Uh, you're teaching them about sexuality. This kind of work is important because masculinity is more rigid than femininity. So we allow girls a little more space to play with their identities. Boys a lot more rigid as soon as they get to a certain age that they can't wear certain things, they can't be pushing prams, but we allow girls to play with trucks. So you have to have this complementary work about patriarchy and about attitudes around equality for boys, girls and other genders. We talk about gender a lot, uh, even with my son. He plays with dolls. Uh, they would tease him and say, hey, why are you playing with this? Why are you wearing this? Why are you wearing a skirt today? I said, there's nothing wrong. If he wants to play with, with girls, he want, if he wants to put on a weave, it's okay. It suits him. And if we go to, sh to the shop, if he says, I want you to buy a doll for me, the puppy doll with high heels, I do that. And people at the shop would say, hi, but why are you buying a, a boy this? I said, ah, he wants to. And I would educate them even at the mall. I say, listen here, if I buy this, I'm not buying this because I want him to be a, a, a lesbian or gay or what, but I'm teaching him nurturing because he's going to be a father. So you must know that if, you are if you've got a girl, you must do certain things to a girl. You must buy pads and so on. So he's fully aware. If I ask him if I'm taking a bath, he says, oh, please bring me panty liner. He will know what a panty liner is. Even all of them, they know. Because that's how I am. I'm open. That's the kind of relationship we have. You have to think very hard about the work that you need to put in raising a kind, generous, happy, egalitarian boy. Actually, this is a lot of work, a lot of invisible work. How are we empowering girl children when they have to constantly be the ones to, you know, to push back? And so you've, you've got to get men, male identifying people, masculinities, to recognise how they will benefit from an egalitarian society, that they can have more engaged, relationships with other men, more engaged relationships with their intimate partners, more engaged relationships, you know, with their children. Um, and I think this is something that we were talking about before in some of the research that we've been doing, the workshops we've been doing. There was a little boy who was playing with a shoe and he was tying it on his back and he was uh, putting it to sleep and, you know, all that kind of thing. Uh, and so our colleagues in the workshop raised the issue of whether um, you know, he could have a doll. And that, you know, that's just gone one step too feminine. But then we're surprised when, you know, when young men grow up to become completely disengaged and, you know, and unable to care and empathise and, you know, look after children. The work of, of raising girls who are amazing, who are awesome, is a constant thing. You know, it, it just has to happen every day, uh, talking about it, modelling. But then, if the neighbour doesn't raise boys to be like that, you have a problem. Yes. You really have a problem because Absolutely. the violence is going to be there. The inequality, they just push him back that, no, you think you're awesome, but I'm going to show you you're not awesome. You can't be walking here, you can be in this space. Yeah. I just wish I could, I could unsee a lot of the stuff that I'm seeing and like not care because it just makes you think too much, right? But I feel like the opposite burden, I actually don't want to have it, where I become complicit by, by, by not seeing and not caring. So if, if there's inequality outside, and you are this family, you're this person, what do you do with it? Do you live it forever? What, what the, the inequality that you see outside in the school, yeah. you take your kid to school, and they're teaching, teaching them gender yeah. is this. This is, this is how it is. Wow. You, can't, I mean, you can't stand in this queue. You can't do this. You can't want to play soccer because soccer is only for boys. Yeah. Yeah. You can't, you know, you can't do robotics. Robotics only for boys. Yeah. You can't play the guitar. Yeah. So they're always streaming your child. What do you do with that?